The Biden administration says Israel has made good but limited progress in increasing the flow of humanitarian aid to Gaza and therefore it will not limit arms transfers to the country as it had threatened a month ago if the situation had not improved. Meanwhile, Palestinian medical officials said Israeli strikes in Gaza have killed at least 31 people in the past 24 hours. And in northern Israel, two people were killed after a warehouse was struck during a rocket strike. Displaced Palestinians in Gaza's Khan Yunis say food aid hasn't reached them in months. <laughs> Speaking from a school turned shelter, this woman says she had been at the school for three months and had only seen one or two deliveries of food aid in that time. Today, the Israeli military said it had delivered hundreds of packets of food to cut off areas of northern Gaza as fighting raged ahead of a U.S. deadline for Israel to get more aid into the Palestinian enclave or face cuts in military military assistance. A spokesperson for Israel's government says it has taken Washington's demands very seriously. Israel is increasing the volume and the routes of aid into Gaza. Today, the Kisufin crossing was open to get more humanitarian aid trucks in. That means more food, more water, more medical supplies and more shelter equipment to central and southern Gaza. All of Israel's efforts are fully in accordance with international law. But international aid agencies say Israel has failed to allow greater humanitarian access to the Gaza Strip, where conditions are worse than at any point in the 13-month-old war. The uh, requirements to support civilians in Gaza are not in place. The operating environment is not allowing humanitarian aid, humanitarian actors to access supplies and access populations in absolutely desperate conditions across the whole of Gaza. However, the Biden administration says Israel has made good but limited progress. We at this time have not made an assessment that uh, that the Israelis are in violation of U.S. law, uh, but most importantly, we are going to continue to watch uh, how these steps that they've taken, how they are being implemented, how that they can be continued to be expanded on, and through that, we're going to continue to assess uh, their compliance um, with uh, U.S. law. Today, Israel's President Isaac Herzog met with U.S. US President Joe Biden in Washington as conflict and uncertainty continue to roil the Middle East. Herzog stressed that the hostages in Gaza must be freed first and that Iran must be a major objective. It all starts in Tehran. It all starts in the empire of evil, <clears throat> where in Tehran, with its proxies, they are doing whatever they can to derail stability and security and peace calling for the annihilation of the state of Israel and seeking nuclear weapons. Mr. President, this has to be a major objective. Meanwhile in Israel... Sirens sounded in various areas in the central region and Tel Aviv today. The Israeli army said a barrage of 10 rockets fired from Lebanon was partially intercepted and the impact was felt in several locations. According to Israeli medical services, two people were killed in a town in northern Israel after a building was struck during the rocket strike.